Today, we will hear directly from a patient and doctors who will share their firsthand accounts of accessing abortion care. Dr. Verma. I see you are a fellow Georgian, uh, recently gubernatorial nominee Stacey Abrams from our great state of Georgia stated, and I quote, there is no such thing as a heartbeat at six weeks. It is a manufactured sound. So let me ask you, is a heartbeat at six weeks a manufactured sound? A yes or no will suffice. So I want to start by just A yes or no will that. suffice, ma'am. Is, is, so, do I need to repeat the question? I'd love to answer your question, but like so many things in medicine, it's complex. I, I don't believe it's complex, ma'am. It's a pretty simple say. question. Is a heartbeat at six weeks a manufactured sound? Yes or no? Again, I'd love to answer your question. I need um, a little bit of time to do so because- Okay, all right. So uh, it, it, I just need a yes or no. It, is it or is it, it not? Complex. Okay, you're not gonna answer my question. Uh, and while we're talking about science, let's talk about biology. And let's just keep it real simple, just two yes or no questions. And this is for um, uh, Dr. Kumar. Dr. Kumar, can biological men become pregnant and give birth? Um, so men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. Uh, so, so can biological men become pregnant and give birth? So are you saying that a biological female who identifies as a man and therefore becomes pregnant is, quote, a man? Is that what you're saying? These questions about who can become pregnant are really missing the point. I'm here to talk no, about no, no, what's no, no, happening no. in Texas. I, I, this is me Somebody, asking a question I'm answering and you question. answering. I'm so, asking the question, sir, not you. Right, and I'm answering the question. Somebody with a uterus may have the capability of becoming pregnant, whether they're a woman or a man. That doesn't make uh, okay, a difference. Okay, we're done. Not we're every done. person with this a uterus isn't complicated. has the ability to become pregnant. Let me tell you, pregnant. if a person has this a is uterus medicine. and is born, as a, is born female, they are a woman. That is not a man, and the vast majority of the world considers that to be a woman because there are biological differences between men and women. I mean, clearly, any high school biology class teaches that men and women have different chromosomes. Females are XX chromosome, and males are XY chromosome. Can't believe it's necessary to say this, but men cannot get pregnant and cannot get birth, give birth, regardless of how they identify themselves. Dr. Kumar, in your opening statement, you said, quote, abortion bans are inherently racist, inherently classist, and fundamentally part of, white, of the white supremacy agenda. How do you rationalize working for Planned Parenthood, an organization founded by Margaret Sanger, someone who associated with white supremacist groups and eugenics? Margaret Sanger's entire focus was to decimate communities of color through abortion to eliminate their future generations. You know, at a time, how many abortions have you performed in your lifetime? If I can answer your no, question. No, no, no. How many abortions have you performed in your lifetime? Likely thousands.